Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, April 23rd, around 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. We are currently in a severe G4 geomagnetic storm, peaking six hours ago at KP8, and the auroras were seen in New Zealand. We also have some activity in Iceland, two earthquakes, one at Bartabunga and the other at Grimsvolten. But the big story, April cooldown to plunge across the U.S. with nearly 15 million under freeze warnings. Keep calm. It's boom time. Millions of listeners across the United States, specifically in the center of the U.S. and the East, will be well below normal. In fact, around 200 million through Tuesday. For the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about temperatures warming up, being anywhere between 10 and 20 degrees above average. But this is quite a departure. Many regions will be 10 to 20 degrees below normal. And frost and freeze warnings are out for over a dozen states. Tornadoes confirmed in Maryland as storms move through the I-95 corridor from Pennsylvania to the Carolinas on Saturday. Yes, the National Weather Service confirmed Poolsville, Maryland was hit by an EF0 tornado Saturday afternoon. The twister had estimated peak winds at 75 miles per hour and tracked about 300 feet before dissipating. So small tornado at best. Now, hail pounds the Bollinger area Saturday. The National Weather Service office in San Angelo is reporting small to medium-sized hail up to golf ball-sized hail pounded Bollinger and the surrounding area Saturday afternoon before moving off to the east as a strong cold front blew through the Concho Valley. Take a look at the interactive hail map for Saturday, April 22nd, and that was when the incident in question was. Take a look at this. 20,500 impact with one inch or larger hail. 1,765 reports of hail larger than 1.75 inches. So that is right there, Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. Here's the full forecast. Cold weather for portions of the central and east, unsettled for the northwest. Frost and freeze conditions are expected across most of the central plains and the Midwest through early Monday morning. Meanwhile, low pressure will track across the northwest portion of our nation and move across the intermontane west and Rockies through early this week. Periods of rain, mountain snow are expected where precipitation could be locally heavy accompanied with gusty wind. Take a look at this over a dozen states, hard freeze and frost warning, so bring in or cover your sensitive plants. Let's take a look at the forecast. Look at that severe weather offshore of Texas down there. That is not going to affect anyone. But we do have some snow and wintry weather as well as rain in the Pacific Northwest over the next few days, and the next severe weather is not popping up until Wednesday. Take a look at the snow. The snow is going to continue to fall Monday through Tuesday in the Pacific Northwest and then the West and the Rockies. We're going to get some snow Wednesday down into Colorado. Could be up to three feet up near Steamboat. Heads up. While in the ensuing days, there could be some snow in the high mountains of New England as well. So it is still snowing and there's more snow on the models all the way through May. Hey, hey. Seismic update, boom, 7.3 in the Kermadec Islands just popping off at the same time of 5.2 in Japan. This clearly the more significant. Let's take a look if there's any tsunami warning. There is a tsunami threat. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the first message coming out from this quake. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.3 occurred in the Kermadec region. Based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat to Guam. Okay, but where is the tsunami threat? Wow, that's interesting. So it is listing, based on all of that, no tsunami threat. Good news there on message two. Let's see, for the Kermadex, probably a tsunami threat. An earthquake, yes, based on the preliminary parameters, hazardous tsunami waves are possible for the coasts located within 300 kilometers of the earthquake epicenter. Hazardous tsunami waves from this earthquake are possible within 300 kilometers of the epicenter along the coast of the Kermadec Islands. So please heed the warnings and get to high ground. There's good news is that there aren't very many people in this region. Let's take a look at where this occurred. Yeah, so there are, there is an island right there. 
and they may well be affected. There is a tsunami threat just for 300 kilometers. Maybe something small hits uh, the north of New Zealand here, but a large quake kicking off just moments ago. And we also have a 3.6 in New York State, Adams Center. Very interesting quake there in the Great Lakes. Could be due to all the snow that fell there now melting. That would be a snow quake. But 7.3 in the Kermadex. And there is a tsunami threat within 300 kilometers. So heed the warning. We also have some seismic activity over on Iceland. Grimsvotten and Bartabunga, two earthquakes that the USGS aren't showing. 3.2, 3.3 it appears. Here, an earthquake at Grimsvotten, 3.3 is the most recent. And just prior to that, at Bartabunga, there was a 3.2. So activity on the Vatna Yokel Glacier. And we're keeping a close eye on that. Worldwide Volcano News Update. We've got Sun Gay still puffing 43,000 feet on the map here. Eruptions built up to 43,000 foot ash column yesterday, and that is still up in the atmosphere. Now, let's get on with the G4 severe geomagnetic storm. Parts of the U.S. could see northern lights Sunday, and they certainly could. We are at KP 7.5, coming off of KP 8. And a severe G4 storm is in progress. But the Aurora forecast uh, isn't looking that spectacular. But I do digress. It could pop back up. It, this was blazing red earlier today. But this is going to definitely be Aurora opportunity for everyone in Canada and everyone in the northern tier states. So if you have time, get out and look up. Taking a look at some of the telemetry, it appears to be holding stable at the density and plasma speed just above around 650. So no increase, but there could be some changes. We could see uh, some pulses in this activity as the geomagnetic storm moves forward. Any updates needed, stay tuned for those updates. All the links to everything we show you will be below. Take a look at the magnetometer. Literally going off the charts. Uh, several people reporting that it was the largest swing in a magnetometer. Most of the recorders could not record the swing, in fact. That's what the record was. <clears throat> also, we went into a little proton storm for very short-lived, and now we're dropping back down. Now, did you hear about the mutilated cows? Yeah, six cows were found in Texas, dead and mutilated with their tongues cut out with surgical precision. The police are searching for answers. This is, well, this is quite creepy. Six cows found dead, mutilated along a state highway in East Central Texas with their tongues completely removed, have prompted an investigation by the county sheriff's office. The cow's tongue was removed with no blood spill and a straight clean cut with apparent precision. This had been made to hide around, also the hide around the cow's mouth and on one side, according to the sheriff's office. Very bizarre. What say you? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now, off the charts, UN reports highlights rapid climate breakdown. The UN report highlights rapid climate. What? Yeah, it is off the charts the way the UN can lie to the public and people gobble it up. I hope you're preparing, and I hope you're preparing with My Patriot Supply. Preparewiththeranch.com, where you can get a free Alexa Pure water filtration system and $280 off the three-month emergency food supply. When you get a three-month emergency food supply through Oppenheimer Ranch in the link below, you get a free Alexa Pure Pro water filtration system that could save your butt. That's a $300 value, and you get $280 off the base price. So, get gain peace of mind and a little piece of preparedness. This is all of the preparedness you need in one package. Three months of food plus free water. And that, well, that's a boom to knowledge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. We are shadow banned and we need you to share this video so the channel can grow. We love each and every one of you. Become a Patreon. Support the channel and watch all of our videos commercial-free. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.